Hello, my name is Ralph Ricciardi, President of Boss Leather. Uh, in this we will be discussing fit and finish. So we have a sample here that's pre-sewn and uh, we basically wanted to go over this as far as the different ways you can actually sew two pieces of leather together. So on the first example, what we've done here is made what we call a French stitch. Essentially the fancy terminology for a top stitch. So what this is, is basically leather that's folded over and joined and you'll see it actually it basically just has one seam. So there is a tiny ridge here where the leather is folded. So this is a nice strong stitch because it goes through two pieces of leather in the back. It goes through another uh, third piece on the top. So everywhere you see a stitch it actually goes through three surfaces and that's done singly. So that's an extremely strong stitch. Second example is what we call piping or some people refer to as welding. So you'll see there that there's a piece of leather that's wrapped around a rope and that's sewn together tightly to create what we call a weld. And that weld is sewn to, again, two pieces of leather. Again, another very strong way to join leather. Now welding is done usually when you want to frame a set. So if you want to frame a back cushion and a seat cushion, you're using welding on that. And mostly the fancier pieces are done with welding. The third and final stitch is probably my favorite stitch. It's called the double stitch or what's also called or referred to as a baseball stitch. So you'll see that in this case here, we have two times where we fold the leather. So you see a fold on this side and you'll see a fold on that side. And then uh, you'll have another additional strengthening method here by adding a cord of nylon on the back. So in this case here, again, we go through three, three surfaces and on top of that, it is sewn together in the middle. So this serves, and in my opinion, and, and, and it's true fact, is the strongest seam that you can get on the market and it's called a baseball seam. Also very easy to clean because there are no ridges. It's very smooth. Uh, you won't have any dust getting stuck like you would in the welds or like you would in the top stitch here. You'll see there's a little tiny ridge there. So this makes for a very, very clean stitching. And again, all of them are very strong. All of them have lifetime warranty. They just have different ways of looking for the finished part of it. And now we're going to move over to showing you a few examples of fit and finish. Uh, beside me I have a piece uh, from our Platinum line, a very compact chair that's uh, traditional in style. And one of the things that make it traditional, uh, you'll look, you see that nice round arm, you'll see the pleats come over several times to complete that circle. And over top of that you'll see this other uh, situation here and that's called a face plate. Now with that face plate that's hammered in and then it also is hand done by these studs. So these studs are individually placed on this chair. You, you can see that there's a human element there. It's not exactly 100% straight, but that's what gives it its charm. So that's what you got with your roll arm. Here we have an example of what we talked about earlier. Here we have a double stitch on the seat cushion. You see it's very, very smooth, very strong stitch. Don't worry about it showing any waves because it keeps it uh, very, very clean looking. So that's an example of my favorite stitch, which is called a baseball stitch. You'll see that carrying over in several places on this chair. If we turn this chair around, again, you'll see some more panels here, all double stitched. And again, double stitch on the back panel. Again, all our stuff is leather, fronts, back, sides, everything, all top grain leather. And in this case here, we're showing you an example of our full grain leather or our aniline dyed leather. This is the uh, creme de la creme when it comes to leather. So again, fit and finish. You can see everything's tightly pulled. You see there's really no mistakes when it comes to the upholstery layer. This is the difference between a, a, a very good job and an average job. Uh, in this case here, very simple. You'll see that all our lines have beautiful fit and finish and that's what's distinguished a boss leather piece to everybody else. Thank you for listening.